Hi, this is Phil Susan, and I'm here today to tell you about a fantastic app called AnyTune Pro. AnyTune is something which really has changed my life for the better and made life a lot easier. So the app is available for iOS and it's also available obviously for the iPad. They have a separate app which is available for the Mac. First thing I think is fantastic about it is it goes right inside your iTunes. So if I click on playlists, it can see my playlist. So I'm going to pick one here which says Big Noise Russia. So I've put them into order so I can pick on one of these songs like for example we can pick on Highway Star. Um, at the bottom of the app we have a slider which can navigate anywhere in the song that I want from the beginning, middle, wherever. If I go to the very top and I start playing I'm actually in tune. And the reason I'm in tune is because my any tune is already tuning down a half step. If I double tap it, it goes back to the original pitch of the song. And you'll see this is now a half step up. And that's how we listen to it. That's how we're all familiar with it. But if I happen to be playing on a half step down guitar, it's not going to sound fantastic. So rather than retune the guitar, boom, I just click semitone down and... There we are. It doesn't just do the half step down in half step increments. You can actually go in sense. I'll show you the effect of that. It's great because sometimes, back in the day, I guess certain bands didn't have tuners because they recorded things that were just a little bit higher than, than concert pitch. We can slow things down. So I can take this track and I can play it and I can say... Speed it up. That's half speed and it sounds remarkably good. I mean, I can pick out what I need to pick out in there. The scrub feature is tremendous as well. Not only can you scrub globally through the song, but I can... Oh, what was that bit? Hang on. And the loop trainer is fantastic. What we can do is we can click on here, boom, and we can pull up the loop feature. And then I can have an area in the song, if I press play, I can select an A point, a B point or an in and an out point and then I can just loop between those two points. I'll show you that really quickly. It's very easy to do. Hit play. There's my A point. There's my B point and I loop it. If I hit the step trainer, which is just a button, it's going to play it back 10 times. The first time it will slow it down to half speed and it'll gradually increase it until over the 10th time it's come back to full speed. So if it's a tricky part and you know how to play it slowly, you can play it and it'll gradually speed up and speed up and speed up and that will help you with your precision. It'll help you learning a part as well. And the EQ section is very useful. You can select from different EQs. Uh, for example, I've picked one called Isolate Bass over here. There we go. And it's in there. And by putting that in, it removes a lot of the other instruments if I'm having a hard time trying to pick out a note. They actually recommend that you combine this with raising it up two octaves. Um, I'll, I'll show you what that sounds like. It sounds very chipmunk-like, but you can actually pick out the bass if it's a note that you can't figure out. Now we want to go, there we go, 24 semitones, which is two octaves. Here you go. It does help you pick stuff out. We can also turn the unit on its side and it gives us a little bit more of a, a scrub feature. Any tune has a fantastic feature in it that is called Live Mix. It's this button here with a microphone. I have a little 29 or $30 little device. This goes into your phone and we have some connections here. My guitar can be plugged into the guitar socket here. This will go into the phone and on the other side here we have a headphone connector so I can actually connect headphones if I wanted to. But I've got something better than headphones. This is my new favorite toy which is the back float speaker. We go into our live play here and we see that we have some additional controls. If I activate it by touching it here, there you can hear my bass. I can adjust the level of it, make it a little louder, there. 
and I can play along if I wanted to. I love this. I can just walk into a room, iPhone, a couple of chords in this little box, pull out my guitar, and I could just learn anything, anywhere, anytime, any tune. It is totally portable, and it's just fantastic. So here's the app for the Apple computer. Uh, it's a different app. It doesn't come with the uh, iOS app. It has to be purchased separately. And once again, it scans right through your iTunes library. Uh, you go straight to your playlists. You find whatever playlist you want. You select your song, and we scrub backwards and forwards just the same way. We can connect the iRig if we want to. And the same features that we have here are shown on the screen. We have a little more real estate, so it's quite easy to navigate to, through all of these buttons at the bottom, which give us all the features we discussed. And we scrub back and forth, or we can scrub there. I would suggest that you do yourself a favor and go to the App Store and download it. They have a free version. It has many of the features we've been discussing. You then have the option to unlock certain additional features for a bit of a price. Um, such as export, such as the EQ, or you could just buy the fully unlocked version, which is called AnyTune Pro. Trust me, it's the best $15 I think I've ever spent in my life. It's the price of a couple of beers, and it has changed the way that I learn songs. Just remember, anywhere, anytime, any place, AnyTune Pro. Okay, thanks for watching. Phil Susan, check it out, and see you very soon next time. Rock and roll.